Welcome to the Dream Farm channel. Today we will explore the story of the farmers who raised and harvested thousands of tons of tuna, which played a crucial role in protecting this precious fish and ensuring a sustainable food source. Bluefin tuna, one of the most valuable fish in the world, with an annual catch of up to hundreds of thousands of tons and a market value of billions of dollars, can live up to 40 years and weigh up to 1,000 IB. Let's learn about the importance of protecting tuna and the efforts of farmers through farming and harvesting activities. First, let's take a look at tuna farms in South Australia, which provide a comprehensive view of how tuna is raised in a controlled environment. Here, the South Australian bluefin tuna, Thunus macoyi, is raised from the larval stage to adulthood, helping to maintain the species population and provide a sustainable source of seafood. annual SBT production in Australia is about 9,000 tons, mainly harvested in South Australia through farming, in which wild-caught young tuna are fattened in marine cages before harvesting. This tuna farming not only provides a sustainable source of tuna, but also ensures that tuna populations in the wild are not excessively depleted, helping to maintain the balance of the marine ecosystem. Steer Group, one of the major tuna farming conglomerates in South Australia, annually produces about 600 tons of high quality tuna. Using advanced farming techniques and scientific management, Steer Group ensures that tuna grows healthy, meets safety and sustainability standards. Thanks to the automatic monitoring system, nutritious food and tightly controlled habitat, their tuna not only grows fast, but also has high nutritional value. The Eyre Peninsula in Australia is a prominent location for Mori seafood, which is famous for its tuna farming practices. Here, the process of feeding tuna is carried out scientifically, ensuring that the tuna grows healthy and reaches the optimal weight. Bluefin tuna can reach up to 200 KU in a good rearing environment. Special care and nutrition measures are taken to ensure that the tuna not only grows in size, but also has good meat quality, meeting the high standards of the international market. Not only nurturing, tuna fishing also plays an important role in the management and protection of this fish. Catching tuna, especially giant bluefin tuna, is a dramatic and challenging experience for sailors. Tuna weighing up to 440 pounds, 200 kg, are often caught with a spear, requiring great skill and patience from the catcher.
For larger tuna, around 450 pounds, 205 kate lu, sailors often use fishing guns to ensure safety and efficiency. One of the most impressive records is the catch of a giant bluefin tuna weighing up to 1,000 pounds, about 450 kilograms, in a short time in PEI, Prince Edward Island. Japan, a country with a wider tuna fishing industry, targets a wide range of tuna species, including Pacific bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, and big-eye tuna. In 2022, Japan produced about 194,000 tons of tuna through marine fishing. This includes a variety of species and fishing methods, reflecting Japan's larger scale and more diverse tuna industry than Australia's. Fishing methods in Japan also vary from hand fishing, trellis fishing, to net fishing. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages, but they all need to be strictly managed to avoid depleting tuna resources. In addition, feeding tuna at the port of Nagoya Aquarium is a testament to the importance of caring for and protecting tuna in captivity. Here, Tuna is fed a special diet, which ensures that they grow healthy and grow well. Raising tuna in the port of Nagoya Aquarium has many benefits for tourism and advertising. This aquarium uses tuna farming activities to attract visitors and educate the community about the precious fish and creates unique promotional opportunities for tuna-related product. Farmers and fishermen around the world play a key role in protecting and maintaining tuna populations. They are not only involved in production and exploitation, but are also the protectors and managers of this precious resource. Cooperation between countries, international organizations, and fishing communities is necessary to implement effective and sustainable measures to protect tuna. Protecting tuna not only ensures food sources, but also maintains marine ecosystems and biodiversity, creating a sustainable foundation for the next generation. Raising awareness, applying sustainable management, and working closely together will help tuna survive and thrive, benefiting people and nature. Take action to protect this precious fish for a healthier ocean and a brighter future.